Today I want to talk about something that uh, we, we may or may not remember, which was in the news some time ago, and that's a situation where there was a bystander who um, happened to see a seven-year-old child looking as though they were going to fall from a three-story uh, distance, and that's well over 30 feet, and sure enough, the child did fall, and this individual caught the child um, before they hit the ground. Absolutely exceptional. The fact that this gentleman got involved, risked his well-being, he actually was injured in the process. Uh, it sounds to me like he broke an arm, a possibly a humerus uh, bone, because of tr catching that amount of weight dropping from three stories high. Um, the thing I really want to focus on, though, is that uh, this needs to be spotlighted because what an exceptional individual um, that he would get involved, number one. Number two, that he would risk his own life to help this child, saved the child's life, I'm sure, uh, and attempted to catch this tremendous amount of weight. I mean, if you think about it, let's just say that the child was only 30 pounds, 30, 35 pounds. That's only five pounds away from a 40 pound salt bag. Now I've got a, a salt water, uh, water conditioner and I get 40 pound bags of salt. Those are pretty heavy. And uh, to think about somebody dropping a salt bag from three stories up and having me catch it, wow. That's, that's not easy to do and I would imagine there would be injury from the recipient who was catching it. This individual did it, they did not think about the fact that they were, if they did think about it, they didn't care, but they didn't, they didn't put their own well-being first and probably saved this child's life. In, in the very least, um, reduced the amount of injuries that this child suffered. So, exceptional. And the thing I want to spotlight here is that that's true rescue heroism. Uh, this individual showed a very rare characteristic that uh, we, we hope that society builds more and more of. And I just wanted to take that time, show the video clips of this rescue. Uh, it's something that I've had on my agenda to talk about for some time and just haven't had the opportunity to do it. So I wanted to take that opportunity now. Um, and we've got a lot more Royan Rescue coming. There's a lot more subjects. We've got everything from lightning strikes to other health, safety, and wellness issues. And I'm hoping to get caught up and be a little bit more frequent in the recordings. I hope this helped. Um, from an aspect of, of thinking about people that have gotten involved and done great things to change the course of history, this gentleman who caught this child from three stories high was certainly exemplary, and we wanted to spotlight that. Um, keep your questions coming. Keep your comments coming. We want to continue this conversation, and we want to keep engaged with you. Uh, and, you know, your comments and your questions do not go unnoticed. I've got a a bunch of them in the inbox that I've prioritized and are waiting to reply back to. And if this works, hopefully I'll be responding very soon. So from Roy and Rescue, thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to you next time. Keep on rescuing. Bye-bye.